that they hurt is in the area causing mass area. But it really doesn't matter because when you step into the place, you should be wishing for the next battle. They think you can feet to a mile You gotta know the ball because there's no way you can hide it. Slide, step aside. You run your own life and you'll be thinking about getting out of here by your own nose. Sleep is a call and flame. It takes a picture for it. Hey, how you doing? This is my introductory video. Um, as you can see, I'm a avid Frank Thomas fan and collector. I have quite a few of his memorabilia. Um, I've also have um, quite a bit of his cards too. Um, a few one of ones, autographs, uh, and, and you know base cards. And um, my favorites are typically. Um, 90s inserts because they were the best looking. Um, they were always tough to get um, growing up as a kid. Um, but one of the reasons why I am a, a Frank Thomas collector, by the way, is because um, back it was 92, um, I got one of his rookie cards and it was his 90 tops rookie. Um, and when I looked him back at, I noticed um, that I think it was back at that um, the card was worth like 40 or 80 bucks which to me was like wow this guy must be really good you know I'm only 10 years old then so you know, of course I'm like oh I got this card it's worth so much just like any other kid would think but it really wasn't worth 80 bucks because that was what the no name went for and I didn't know there was a no name I think until 94 so I realized that there was a uh, 90s tops card rookie of him they had no name on the front and I've heard rumors that only point one percent of the print run was no name um, which pretty much came to I, I, I could say it's probably around you know 300 400 cards produced maybe um, and if if you look them up I mean they're not really tough to get you can find them on eBay, you can find them in other places, but the problem is there's a lot of them that were fakes that were produced. So you have to be careful when you buy one. I'll always make sure it's graded at PSA or, or Beckett. Um, I prefer PSA because I think they're just they're better graders. I know that they're not outsourced. Um, Beckett tip, typically outsources their grading company, so I don't necessarily go by what Beckett graders always say. Um, I stick with PSA. I'm a PSA guy. Um, but I do have stuff that's great at back end. But, you know. Um, along with the cards, I've I've got over 6,000 different Thomas cards. Um, this includes the oddball cards. I mean, yeah, you have to think there's probably five or 600 out there that are probably not licensed I don't know a lot of them weren't licensed so you kinda gotta you know take it for what it's worth um, you know just I go by what eBay market is and buy them what what I think is a good value on them some of them are rarer than others um, I still count them as in my card collection um, but I know some guys are are like that they don't like they don't care for those kind of cards that's fine. That's just your preference. Um, along with the 6,000 different, I've got tons of memorabilia. As you can see uh, behind me, I've got the photo balls. I've got the beer. I've got the um, candy bars, which, I mean, I have the both of them that were made from, I think, in 96. Um, pretty tough. Really tough things to get. Um, as you can see to here is my pillow. You don't ever see that ever up. Um, that was kind of rare to get. Um, 
Uh, my intro music, by the way, was uh, the Frank Thomas CD he made. Um, so that's kind of a, a clever thing he did back in the day. He always did some weird stuff. You know, I mean, he did the candy bars, obviously. Um, he did also. He did uh, fundraising for leukemia, and he made a few sets of cards due to that. Um, I think uh, it was his sister. I think who had leukemia. So, um, you know, he did it for her. Um, another um, rare thing that isn't, that's kind of newer that not many people know about, and I just want you to, to know about this if you're a Thomas fan and you're trying to be a collector or you are a longtime collector or whatever. Um, this can came out with Pepsi Max, and the whole story behind it was is they did a Field of Dreams. And uh, if you know the whole uh, thing about Field of Dreams, that they bring back all the players back in the day and they put them on a baseball team and then you can play against them um and, and the one can to my uh on my shoulder here now um my friend he's a Barry Bonds collector uh he called me up one day he goes hey dude uh you won't believe I bought a 12 pack and uh Frank Thomas is on the can I'm like ah, no way so I came home and uh yeah so this is the Field of Dreams can this is open by the way um but I have I think like five unopened ones and uh, I think five or six of the open ones I think one got discarded out of the 12 pack if I recall but also um, I have uh, one autograph bat and uh, three autograph balls one's a World Series one uh, the two other ones or one of them's just a regular one that somebody must have just got graded or uh, signed and it had it graded. Um, then there was uh, another ball that Fleer came out with. Uh, so I have that, and that's sitting in my uh, bat case, which is over here. And then there's the bat, as you can see in the video. Um, then another can you see right above me. Uh, I'll grab that real quick for you. Is a promotional can. That was made. Don't know really too much the story behind it, but it's a really sweet can. I mean, this is rare. I've seen it a few times on eBay. Um, I was fortunate to get one. Then you got Ryan Sandberg on it. And I think this is like, uh, I don't know if it was the, the Ball Corporation and Technology, whatever, Avery, Denison. Uh, I don't know what the, the story behind that can was. Kind of a unique piece, though. One I like a lot. But um, I will be on here again, and uh, I will also have uh, some cards of mine that are up. As you can see, the cards in back of me, those are all doubles, by the way, those cards in that um, rack here. Uh, we got uh, Tops Tech Gold here, which is number 10. That's a duplicate. Um, and also a duplicate of this Tops Tech Gold. Um, as you can see, if you're an avid collector, you kind of can see the ones behind me, and I'll get closer up ones later on in my other videos if you're interested in purchasing those um, or trading. You know, that could always work too. But um, I'd just like to show you my collection, and I hope you enjoy what I've got and hope to hear from you. Well, take care. Bye.